started to talk. Um, so he's going to open the floor to him. Yeah, so, all right, Coach Hammock, uh, can you start us off with a statement about today's game? We also have with us Rocky Lombardi, Casper Berkowitz, Jordan Hansen. Yeah, first of all, I'm, I want to give credit to uh, uh, Southern Illinois. Uh, they beat us um, the, flat out. We're not going to make any excuses. Uh, we were prepared to play. Um, we just couldn't couldn't get anything going, um, you know, as a team. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't from a lack of focus, uh, attention to detail, uh, urgency. It wasn't any of that. They they made more plays than than, than we did, and, and that's what it come down to. So I don't want to take anything away from them. Um, you know, as far as we're concerned, you know, I thought our defense played phenomenal uh, today. Uh, they gave us a chance to win. Um, you know, obviously offensively, we, we have to find a way uh, to get better. Uh, we got to be able to run the ball more effectively. Uh, can't turn the ball over. And then obviously special teams, you know, you miss two field goals and then you lose by three points. Um, that, that becomes critical uh, in a game like this. Um, but that was a good team. We played, um, you know, we're a good team, you know. Um, I, I think if you looked at it before the season, people would have said we would have been one and one at this point, and we are. We got a lot of work to do uh, as a team uh, to get better, uh, and we'll do that. I think, uh, you know, I, I'm proud of, you know, where we're at, um, but we got a lot of work to do uh, to get better, uh, especially offensively. So with that, I'll take any questions. What's a little surprising the low-scoring game it was? Um, you know, uh, I thought defensively we would play well. I thought we would score more points on offense, to be honest with you. Um, but they, they kept, they, they pressured us. You know, they sold out, you know, and we got to have better answers, uh, especially to give the quarterback some more time uh, in the pocket. Um, but, you know, to me, if we can, if, if, if we can hold people to 14 points and, and we don't score more than that, you know, we don't deserve to win. Um, and so uh, hats off to our defense. I thought they, they, they battled. We put them in some tough situations, went for it on the fourth and five and gave them a short feel, um, and they, they, they held them, you know, to no points. So uh, if we keep playing defense like that, um, you know, we, I promise you we will come around. Coach, how do you explain the statistical anomaly that you converted 50% of third down conversions, they converted one of 11. How did they win with that sort of weird stat? He had three turnovers and two missed field goals. Okay. You know, um, so you turn the ball over. You know, we minus three um, today, which, you know, your percentages of winning is like probably 15%. So, um, you know, and, and probably lower, especially when you take into account the two missed field goals. What did you see in the, the running game for you guys that was uh, not working this week? Yeah, you know, they, they did a good job of, 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 you know, slanting and blitzing and adding extra guys. You know, they sold out. Um, you know, bottom line, they sold out. Uh, we have to play with cleaner technique. Uh, we have to move our feet better. Uh, we have to block better with our hands, um, you know, and, and because obviously somebody did this to us this week, this is what we're going to continue to see uh, throughout the season. So we got to make sure we get it corrected. How difficult was it to establish that run game with how physical and uh, tough that SIU's front seven was playing? Yeah, no, it was tough. It was a challenge. I mean, this was been the, this probably was the hardest game for us to be able to run the ball um, in my in my tenure. You know, 34 carries for 63 yards. That's almost embarrassing. Um, but but we got a run game. You got to keep chipping away. Um, but you know, it was the run game. Then we gave up. We gave up four sacks. We've been sacked you know, 10 times the last two years in a row. We gave a four in one game. Um, so, you know, just some un uncharacteristic things offensively that, you know, we have to we have to clean up. Jordan, just what was physically with your defense out there today? I think we're just playing fast, trying to get the offense a chance to win the game. Uh, you know, read our keys and, you know, like I said, play fast, give the offense a chance. Especially with the way... Uh, What's mm. it like, you know, having to start you guys in that position? Mm. Kind of I mean, it feels good. I mean, we know we got good players on defense, and if we just do our job and read our keys, we'll make good plays. So it feels good to, to be a good part of the team. Coach Hammock, uh, Coach the fourth and five calls, midway through the fourth quarter, about midfield, what's 
thought process on that? Yeah, I mean, you know, it was a tough situation for us, um, you know, trying to figure out a way to, to spark our offense. Um, you know, we could have we could have punted it and, and tried to flip the field, but I felt confident that we can we can get the first down. I mean, it, when the clock is rolling, especially under nine minutes, you got to start being more aggressive in your approach to go try to win the game. Uh, so, you know, I was proud of the way the defense uh, held up. We, we put them in a bad situation. Uh, they missed the field goal, um, but you know, just too many missed opportunities for us mm -hmm. offensively. No, we, we, we definitely had chances. Um, you know, it shouldn't have came to that, in my opinion. Um, but we didn't make the plays, and, and that's a credit to, to Southern. Uh, they, were, they were prepared. They, they made the plays they needed to to win the game. And I, I, don't, I, I really do not want to, you know, take anything from them. They, they, played, they played well. For both Rocky and Casper, what did you guys see on that play where you guys connected for that, I believe, a 62-yard touchdown uh, to, get the, to get the game to a three-point game at that point? You want to respond? I got it. Yeah, you got it. Oh, um, we just got we just got a little seam route. Um, it's really you know nothing crazy. Uh, they they rolled into cover two and they're trying to carry a backer with him and he's a lot faster than the backer. So you throw it up and let him make a play. From your perspective, uh, to be honest, the, the middle of the field just opened up wide wide open for me. I, they, I think they went cover two and they just, yeah like Rocky said tried to have a backer carry me and you know me and Rocky work on that all the time where. If I got to step on a guy, he's going to let it loose. So, you know, just, he let it loose. I ran under it, made a big play. Rocky, how would you kind of assess the offensive performance for you guys today? Um, obviously, not great. I think that's what it comes down to. But um, I'm very optimistic. I think this was a great learning experience for our offense. Uh, and I'm hopeful, and I anticipate it to change a little bit of, of the structure of, of you know, how, how we're trying to gain yards and how we're trying to make big plays. Um, so I think, I think it was a good experience. I'm happy it happened now um, rather than later because we've had some games even last week where we kind of you know, scraped by and, and were able to get a win. But I feel like uh, taking this loss really you know, lets it sink in that, you know, hey, you know, we, need to, we need to figure out something different. We need to figure out how to score points you know, at the end of the day. So I'm optimistic. I, I think that this will be a good turning point for our offense. I think we got a lot of weapons. Uh, and I think we're a great offense. I think we just need to build a little bit more chemistry and, and be a little bit better prepared. For, for Rocky or Casper, I want you to just, um, what's having the defense perform the way it does? Is that kind of, I, I guess, make the improvements you're looking for maybe a little, I, I don't know, easier or whatever going forward here in the next couple of weeks? Oh, it's great. They gave us momentum. I mean, I was sitting in the, what, I think it was like five minutes left, and they were driving, and they got us that stop. It just gives you momentum. Like, you want to go get a successful drive after they're, you know, they're working. I mean, if they love 14 points. If, if they love 14 points, we're going to win a lot of games once we get this offense going. So it's, you know, those guys are flying around, playing good ball, and, I mean, we're, I mean, we're going to get better on offense, and we're going to start winning some games. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting to see them um, play the way that they're playing. They're playing at a high level. You kind of felt it during fall camp, and we've been trying to we've been trying to tell people our defense is a real deal. Um, I think they are, and uh, you know, obviously this offense needs to improve, but it will improve. Uh, Jordan, what happened on that punt there uh, towards the end of the fourth quarter, with about two or three minutes left? Did you get a hand on it, or uh, what happened I on that? Hand on it. Uh, the punter was kind of stalling, so I ran at him, and I think he freaked out, and he punted it, and it hit the shield guy in the shoulder pad. What about the excitement level heading into Cornhusker uh, country next week? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, that was uh, my second start uh, as a college football player, so it's got a special place in my heart. It's also close to home, so I'll have some friends there. It's a great atmosphere, one of the best atmospheres in college football, and, and in my opinion, also one of the most underrated atmospheres. I think it doesn't get enough credit. Um, and, and they, you know, Big Ten opponent, they got a tough team. Uh, new head coach, so it's a great opportunity for us. You know, we're going to cut it loose. Uh, it's a great opportunity for our players as well to go in there 90,000 90, strong. They're going to be loud. It's going to be exciting. So uh, it's a really good opportunity. You know they come in 0-2, don't you? I do know they come in 0-2. I didn't, I didn't know that they lost today, but was it close? No. No? 
couple touchdowns. It was close for a while. We yeah, were watching a couple it. touchdowns. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, you know, they're going to be hungry for sure. They're going to be hungry for a win. Matt, Matt Roll and his staff, I'm sure, is going to do everything he can uh, to put a, put a stop to our offense and to expose our defense. But uh, the way our defense has been playing, I think I think we got a really good shot. And I think that we're going to, like I said, we're going to turn this offense around here real quick. Coach, what can you take away from this game uh, to bounce back next week and get back in the win column? Well, I think, you know, I think the positive, we held, we held a team to 14 points. Um, the last two weeks, our defense has played really, really well. We got to keep keep their heads up and continue to do so. Um, and then we have to find offense. I mean, you know, we had the ball for 36 minutes. It didn't feel like it. Um, but, you know, we got we to gotta score points, points, points. Uh, points are a premium, um, but to me, we got to go back to the drawing board and show any 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 week anybody can win, uh, and we got to put ourselves in position to do that with more points on the board.